we'll guide you through the basic steps of airbrushing nails and show you some of the designs which are easily achieved. Once you've mastered the basic techniques, you'll quickly be able to create amazing nails for any occasion. Single colour airbrushing. We'll first show you how to airbrush your nails using a single colour. Your nails must be clean and dry. A quick wipe with nail varnish remover will also ensure the nails are clean and free of oils. Airbrushing does not adhere well to the natural nail surface. Always apply to Rio's 2-in-1 clear varnish or a base coat of coloured nail polish. Wait for the base coat to dry completely before using the airbrush. Jet through some colour and check you're getting a fine spray. When airbrushing, it's a good idea to work on just one hand at a time. With your hand on a surface, move the airbrush over each nail from approximately 6 centimetres away. Continue until all the nails are covered lightly. Ensure that you're spraying onto the edges of the nails as well as on the top surface. Allow to dry and repeat to build up the strength of colour. The colour will appear matte when dry. Apply the colour in thin layers to achieve a good finish. After spraying, drop the nozzles and tubes in water to soak. Now seal with a top coat of 2-in-1 varnish. The airbrushed colour will wash away from any areas which are not sealed. Be careful to top coat the whole nail surface. To protect your colour from chipping, always cap the free edge. Do this by brushing across the end of the nail with 2-in-1 varnish. After the first top coat is dried, always apply a second coat and allow to dry thoroughly. Wait at least 30 minutes for the second application of top coat to dry and then wash hands in warm water to remove the colour overspray. Rub around the nail, but avoid rubbing the nail surface. Gradient Nails Choose which colours you wish to blend and either spray a base colour using the airbrush or use a coloured polish. Remember, if you're spraying a base colour with your airbrush, you'll need to apply a coat of 2-in-1 varnish first. Here we've used a silver coloured polish for the base coat. Test the airbrush for a light, even spray. Aim the colour just onto the tips of the nails and holding the airbrush 3-6cm to six centimeters away, allow the spray to fade up the nail. Spray across the nails quickly. Repeat this if you wish to increase the strength of colour or to move the gradient up the nail. Nails with simple two-colour gradients look great. Using contrasting colours can give a vibrant, jazzy effect. Choose colours which are similar to give more subtle effect. You can even use more than two colours. For our third colour, we're mixing dark blue. When mixing colours, only mix a small amount and shake well. When changing colours, use a mixing bottle with water to jet through and clear the airbrush of previous colour. With a new colour attached, spray in the same manner as before. Again, protect your design with two coats of 2-in-1 varnish, remembering to cap the free edge. Allow to dry thoroughly before washing away the overspray. The gradient doesn't have to be just at the tip. You can apply a vertical gradient or even a diagonal gradient. Using stencils. One of the most exciting aspects of airbrushing is the use of stencils. Start by airbrushing a base colour or applying a base coat of polish. Each stencil has three holes to allow for different finger sizes, small, medium and large. Fit your chosen stencil into the holder and use tabs to secure. You should be able to drop your finger clear of the stencil when removing your finger. This is important to avoid smudging the designs. Check your base coat is completely dry. With your finger in the stencil, take note of where the design is on your nails so that you can get the design in the same place on each nail. 
With your finger pressing firmly against the stencil, spray lightly from about three to six centimetres away. Wait a few moments for the colour to dry and repeat to build up the strength. Once the colour is dry, drop your finger down from the stencil and remove carefully. Now airbrush each fingernail in turn. You may find it easier to have the stencil holder in your hand while working on the thumbnails. Seal your designs and wash off overspray as before. After using stencils, clean them thoroughly with nail varnish remover. All over stencil designs. Some stencil designs cover the whole nail. A good example is the leopard print. Start by applying the two-in-one varnish as a base coat and leave to dry. Mix the base colour from a little red and gold and airbrush onto the nails. Once the base colour is dry, apply two or three random patches of white to each nail. Using the leopard print stencil, push the finger up against the stencil so the design actually curves around and is in contact with the entire nail. This is important for a crisp, sharp finish. Spray black over the stencil. Wait for a few moments for the colour to dry and carefully release finger from the stencil. Seal the design with two coats of two-in-one and wash away the overspray as before. French tip designs. Airbrushing makes tip designs easy to do and gives fabulous results. We're going to demonstrate how to achieve the classic French polish. Paint the nails with a normal pale pink polish or mix a pale pink colour and airbrush the base colour. Using the French tip design, position your finger under the stencil so that the edge of the nail extends beyond the end of the stencil. Spray white lightly over the tip of the nail. Apply more layers to build up the colour. If you want quite a natural look, don't make the white colour too strong. Wait for the paint to dry and release your finger from the stencil. Seal the design with two coats of two-in-one and wash away the excess colour. Rhinestones or glitter can be used to further enhance your designs. Try using the tip designs in different colours or combining with motif stencils to create more designs. You can even use the plain tip stencil on most of the nails and just a pattern tip on one nail. To maximise the life of your designs, we recommend you reapply two-in-one varnish every day, remembering to cap the free edge each time. Alternatively, if you have the Rio UV Nails Kit, you can achieve a long-lasting protection with a UV gel treatment don't be afraid to experiment. Some of the best results are often the ones you discover yourself.